we are rolling. Welcome back. Um, and here we are, another video. So, as you can tell, we've got a really big ball. Always back here. So, I'm going to slip the chair back a bit. And we're going to do this opening way different because this is way bigger. I already know what's in here. I have a good idea. No, I'm not going to lie. I know what's in here. <laughs> you know, if I'm going to get a package, I might as well make content out of it. So come on, let's go see what's in my box. And this is a big one. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm dealing with a lot smaller space than it appears. Okay. That should be right here. Okay. Now, let me just push this all the way back. Okay. Alrighty. Yes, the shorts are up here. Looks like I'm not wearing anything. Don't get perverted. Hold on, is this mic on? <laughs> Hang on, let me see. Okay, I just raised the volume up a little bit. Because I'm going to be always back here. And I would like for you to hear me. So. We've got. At least. What? A two foot box. Yeah. At least a two foot box. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Getting around. Town. Okay. So, oh, you can't see that. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to unbox this thing. Oh, uh, you really can't see it. Dang it. I was hoping you'd be able to see it. That's the whole point of me doing this. I can share it with you. Anyway. Oh, that's big. <laughs> oh, that's big. <laughs> As some of you may figure out, um, let me put this over here. I'm going to need this spot over here. Uh, I've been, ooh, that's the, Wow. Okay. We've got this little colander kind of creature. Yeah. We'll just put this back a tiny bit. Maybe I don't want to mess up my display. It's been good all this time. Okay. And, well, I don't know why they put tape on this thing. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, I, oh God, that didn't work right. Oh. Dang, I hate when that happens. I'm having trouble with the tape. Anyway, as some of you or all of you by now may know, I've been expanding my garden I've closed the garden for the winter, which for me is very sad because my garden is my happy place. It's where everything just is quiet and there's no 
no arguing, no fussing, no fighting, no one hates each other. In my garden, everything is perfect. Oh, as perfect as I can get it. This thing just leaves little sticky pieces everywhere. Anyway, while I'm growing all my produce or as much of my produce as I can, I started getting into canning. And that's because, well, I've been freezing a lot of stuff. I've been putting a lot of stuff in deep freeze. And it just bothered me that if I lose power, all my efforts will be destroyed. Oh, wow, I need to keep this. I need to get my glasses on. It's how to can. <laughs> Little canning brochure. Well, anyway, I've been making do with the pots and pans I've been having. Uh, I've been getting like roasting pans and pans or pots with high lids and just, you know, everything you could think of. And I'm thinking, well, if I'm actually going to be canning stuff, I think I need to buy an actual water bath canner. So this is a basic black, um, I wouldn't say enamel, but yes, what am I, it's enamel, isn't it? Granite ware. Really? Okay. So it's granite ware. So you load your pots or your, your cans in here and you lower it into the bath. Yeah, you could do that. You could have a little steamer. So this does have multiple functions. And then when you cook, and then when you're done, what I like about this is that when you're done, you just take all this up, and you can't see it because it's black on black. <laughs> I didn't think of this one. But yeah, it's black on, um, you take the little one out, the big one, you leave the hot water on the stove, and you just deal with the jars. Um, it's just me and my wife, so we figured we could just start small. I mean, we only did like, what? We, I know for sure we got 10 jars of sauce, uh, 10 jars of spaghetti sauce, or those from the motherland, gravy. It's all gravy. Okay. Now there's other stuff in here. If I read it right. So let me put this over there. And I'll make it easy to take this. What the hell? What model did we buy? What did my wife buy? Someone tell me that. What did my wife buy? I don't know. Okay, so those three pieces go over there. Let me put this up here. What in the world did my baby doll just buy me? Oh my God, that's not a canner. This is the canner. I don't know what that is. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a surprise. I'm telling you, oh my God. Sometimes when we open shit together, we both fucking are surprised. Okay? Okay. Because I am, wow. Oh my god. Okay. Oh look. I got a little table. <laughs> the box becomes a table. Oh my god. This is this is a canner. Because look, 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 look. 
That's the basket. Oh my God. And then you put it over there. And then you deal with this. And oh my God. Oh my God. Someone tell me what the hell this thing is over here. I can't pick it up now. Okay, I picked it up. Okay, what the hell is this? Okay, we got we got pot. We got pot here. Okay, we got pot there. And we got pot here. I don't know what this is for. It's a double boiler? For what? What am I going to double boil? I don't know. What do I use this for? Oh, my God. Palpitation, palpitation, palpitation. We are exploring together. Okay. <laughs> we are we're learning. We're learning. We're learning. Um Okay, okay, let me let me get this down. Let me get this down on the ground. <laughs> Listen to me. I think I'm funny. Okay. Oh my god. What does she buy? I'm going to put this up here. I have to. Oh, my God. It is granite ware. Original, all natural. I don't know what the hell she... It is water bath. Okay, so I got that part right. It's water bath. Oh, my God. With another set of tools. Five piece, okay. I already have all this, but you know what? I'm keeping it, it's my canning kit. Ah, huh. you get five canning tools. Those who know, can you see that? Can you see all those? Yeah. You get the wand to pick up the lids when the ha you have a debubbler, you have the funnel, you have the little tongs to put the cans in and out. And this thing, well, you can't see, but this thing over here, that's actually, um, well, yeah, you can see the pictures. I don't know if you can see all those pictures. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> wow. Okay. Wow, we... I know you don't want the cans hanging out on the... Wowee. Ah, wowee. Wow. I'm gonna be do... I'm gonna be... Ha I have the ability to do whatever I want. Whatever I want to can, I'm going to be able to can next year. Because, wow, I, I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. So, that's the enormity we're dealing with. That's how big that is. Oh, my God. Wow. And then we have all this over here. So I don't know what this is. I know this is the water bath canner. We have the kit inside. I'll take more tools. I don't care. Um, I have no a strainer or colander. I don't know. Um, I guess that's a steamer. So, I don't know. Steamer, you cook, you cook in this pot. Strain with that. Can with that. I'm going to have, hold on, hold on. I'm going to have to read my manual. Because I'm new at this. If anyone could give me any advice of what, how I'm looking at, um, please help. That's all I can say is please help. Maybe I have no idea what the hell I'm looking at. Okay, so that's not sitting all the way. Is that normal for it to tilt that way? I don't 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm not helping the people that are wearing headsets. Oh my god. I am so happy. <laughs> oh my god, this went this went way longer than expected at all. Um I'll put you there. There. Oh wow. Oh wow, I am so happy, guys. I am just so happy. Oh, it tells you what they are. Okay, so this booklet tells me what that pot is. This booklet tells me what this pot is. If I just pull my head out my ass. <laughs> Blanching and freezing in minutes. Fresh produce for freezing in minutes. Okay, so... That's, okay, so this, the little pot's where you cook it, and the big pot, I'm assuming that's where you can it. So, I'm going to read my material. I have a lot of reading to do, and I'm going to find out about this, and come next year when harvest season comes around, I am going to be prepared. <laughs> you see, the thing is that, for me... Being prepared, so to speak, it's not always the end of the world kind of mentality. No. I live in an area where we can get two, three feet of snow at a time. Uh, let's see, around, around December to February, leaving the house becomes treacherous. If you don't have to, it's recommended you don't. Uh, we've been working from home for, oh my God, years. Anyway, um, and the doggy's sitting under the bubble wrap. <laughs> okay, doggy. Holy crap, I didn't expect this to be so long. Oh my God. I am so sorry, guys. I didn't expect this to be so long. Let me go ahead. Get the chair back in its place. I got bubble wrap, styrofoam. Well, not styrofoam, but you know what I mean. My God, that is a gorgeous gift. Oh, maybe that's a 20-minute video anyways. Isn't that gorgeous? My God. Oh, I love it. I am loving this. So, you know, I'm not looking at the end of the world because we don't know the day or time. We know what's coming. We just don't know when. And I think that's kind of good because... If we knew the time and day, we all just blew in our minds anyway. But in the meantime, we gotta live here. We gotta do the best we can with what we have. And with me, there's like a good two, three months, almost three months, where getting out of the house is quite precarious, uh, almost dangerous. Um, not unheard of that there's no deliveries or traffic for about a week. That, because there's just so much snow. And uh, even with the snow crew at full gear, they just can't keep up. You know, it's just, it, it gets that bad. You put your de-icer down, and then it snows, and then... There's no sense in shoveling or or clearing anything till the stuff stops. And if it snows continuously for day after day, you know what you're gonna do. Uh, so well, you do the best you can with what you have, and that's why I do what I do. Because I know that every year, it's gonna be a couple of months where I may not get regular groceries. And I need to learn to can. 
and I need to grow my own food and I need to stockpile. Not because doomsday, because life. You know, and we had a storm a few years ago that knocked out power to a portion of the state for about three, four days. My freezer barely survived. And that's only because we put ice in it, we kept it closed, and we did not open that. Uh, everything in the in the refrigerator kitchen was gone. So, I, I just, you know, I do this canning stuff because of life. You don't know, you don't know when a stove storm is going to happen, that you're going to need that extra food in your pantry. You don't know that you may lose electricity. And everything in your freezer or refrigerator is spoiled. You're going to maybe need an alternative way to cook for a day or two. That's what I look at. You know, uh, if things going to collapse, I don't know. I can't wrap my mind around that. I am too busy in my own life, my own neighborhood, my own community. What they do at Capitol Hill, they're going to do regardless. I got here. To worry about so anyway I, I kind of went off on a banter I just want people to understand how much this means to me and how much being prepared doesn't mean to be end of the world doomsday it's just be prepared for life you know it's like what the Boy Scouts used to say be always be prepared you know you have that extra tarp because if you get a really bad uh rainstorm and there's a hole in your roof you could always put a tarp up there to minimize the damage until you could get it repaired in a day or so so having an extra tarp doesn't hurt if uh something happens with the water supply that it's out. Well, you need one gallon of water per person per day and have a week's supply. And that's just drinking water. That's not flushing the toilet, washing your clothes, or bathing. But that's just drinking water. Um, I have dry goods. Like, if you have rice and beans and seasoning, you got a decent meal. It may not be fancy. But you got a decent meal to give you the protein and energy to continue working while the environment is hard. So you don't need, you know, do you need to, you, you need to do what you do for you. But this is what I'm doing for me. And I'm going to let you go now. I've had you here more than, long, more than enough. And I'm glad you did stick around. If you have stuck around this long, first off, thank you so much. That means the world to me. Um, put a pot or a can in the comments below. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. And until next time, we're going to hope for the best. Prepare for the worst by guarantee you kids. We're all going to end up somewhere in the middle. Because we always do. <laughs>